On this video, I will be explaining about how to use RenderPool. First, open RenderPool.net. If you have not made an account yet, click on the Start Rendering Today to create your account. If you already have an account, click on Login to proceed. Let's look into the interface. On the top right corner, this shows your current balance, how many points you have. If you don't have any points, you can buy the points using your credit card for the amount of points you need for rendering. On the left side, this is where you can upload compressed RPR files. Let's look into the upload page. You have two options to upload on render pool. You can click on browse file to upload or you can drag and drop the zip file. After browsing or drag and dropping the file, click on upload to start uploading. Upload is complete. Click on Start Render to proceed. We are now in Qum page. On the first part here is a resolution setting. You can add custom settings or use preset for output resolution. For this time, I will be setting it as Full HD. For iteration sampling, this is a sample setting that's the same setting from Maya Max Blender's Blender plugin add the same sampling that you applied inside the CG software. You can choose your file format as EXR or PNG and choose a gamma setting. Once you're done, scroll down and choose the AOV you would like to output. Dynamic GPU development is a feature that makes the render job faster. Please do remember if you choose higher option, higher sampling, you will have higher point usage on the right side middle numbers. Once you are done with the setting, click on Start Render. The menu will go into the running page. Inside View Details, you can see your render progress for each frame. After rendering finishes, the server will now pack your rendered result into zip files. When the job is complete, click on view file to proceed to success page. Click on cloud icon to download your beauty or color render. You can download your AOV selected during the tune page by clicking on generate AOV. If your render fails, they will fly into the Failed tab, and if it keeps failing, please report to us on Morganrot and we will look into the issue. Last part, the RPR files that you upload before rendering will be saved inside the original page. So if your render, render fails, there are no need to upload again to start the render.